This is Tamara with the Rogers Library, and we're going to be looking at Hoopla today. So go to your app store and type in Hoopla, and then we're going to find it. You see that there's other library apps, but we're going to go for Hoopla. Once we have Hoopla downloaded, we're going to make an account, and you'll sign up with your email address and your password. Any password, 8 to 40 characters, you'll have to type them twice for confirmation and then click next. From here, you can choose your library. We'll go and we'll put in um, the zip code, 72758, and we'll find Rogers Public Library, and tap on that, and then you click agree. Once we've agreed to it, you'll use your card number and your PIN number. Your PIN may be the last four digits of your library card, and then congratulations! You are now a person who can use Hoopla. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna take a look at it and just to see what we have to offer. And then up at the top, there's just a slideshow that kind of shows and highlights different things like of course, Valentine's Day, and um, it will show you the Hoopla Graphic Novel Book Club, and of course, Black History Month is February. And it just kind of shows uh, different things that you may not find um, when you explore on your own. And if you look down, it'll show you different items that are recommended for you. Once you start checking out items, it will kind of be geared more towards what you like and goes down to popular ebooks like the Bridgerton series and movies and TV. And then we're just gonna go and we're gonna tap on the movies and look and again, there's the highlighted uh, slideshow up at the top. And then here is Hoopla bonus borrows, just a handful of them. The bonus borrows are items that do not count towards your typical uh, checkouts. So we have four checkouts that you can do per month, but with the bonus borrows, nothing, none of these count. So you can get a little bit extra. And here's the audiobooks. And again, we're gonna go look at the bonus borrows because it kind of changes the series you'll love. And we'll put a link to the bonus borrows for February in this uh, video so you can tap on that and see. And here's ebooks, and we're gonna go to comics. I love comics. I can read comics super quick, so the four items per month, I would go through those so rapidly. Um, but with the bonus borrows, you can go in there and you can tap on it, and we can filter and look to see just the comics. And so there's 43 of these, so that means that I can read all 40, 43 of these and then the four checkouts that I have for each month. So you can go through them pretty quick. Back to the main page and we'll see that you up in the top left, you can turn on the kids filter. So you'll see like Frozen and Minecraft and just kid friendly things um, for movies and TV and such. And then once you will turn it off and it'll go back and show other uh, items. So in the top right, we clicked on that little gear to go and look at settings and you can go to recommendations and select genres that interest you. There's a ton of these for each of the different items for music and movies. And then you can also go to um, link your devices, which is super helpful for doing smart TVs. If you wanna watch a movie, you can stream it directly from Hoopla to your smart TV. So we tapped on the question mark in the top right of this box and it shows you the tutorials of that and uh, what Hoopla is about. It'll show you how to view your items like comics and how to pinch and zoom to read the panels. And then we're gonna go back to the main page and tap on favorites. And favorites are just things like a wish list that you wanna read later. And um, back to the main page and we're gonna go down. I'm gonna find um, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So I'm gonna favorite that because I don't wanna check it out right now. And then go down and read the synopsis. It'll tell you if it's in a series, who the author is, who the narrator is, if it's an audiobook similar artists and genres. So we've favorited it to um, look at later, not to check out right now. And then we're gonna go to borrowed and it'll show you your borrowing history and it'll show you how many items you have for the rest of the month. We're gonna go in the bottom left corner for the search bar and we're gonna type in The Great Gatsby. And this just shows you all the different versions that we have, eBooks and audiobooks. You can go in and tap on there and read the synopsis if it has anything a little extra. And we also have the Cliff Notes versions for to help students um, if they're studying the book in class. 
and we also have like music from the movie and just a bunch of different stuff that might be helpful if you're studying the book and back to the main page so that is hoopla and if you guys need help you can always call us or message us and we will try to help you as much as we can so thank you